What's up you guys? It is March 12th. It is pretty early in the morning right now. I just got up and did fasted cardio and got that out of the way. And if you guys watched my last video, then you guys kind of know what the game plan is. I am just currently cutting for myself. I have no destination date. I have nothing in mind that I'm cutting for uh, besides just getting a little bit leaner for summer. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for clicking on the video. This is going to be a full day of eating for you guys. My name is Maddie. You guys can find me on other social media platforms. I'll have those links up on the screen. And I am going to just jump right into this video and show you guys the foods that I'm eating. I don't have too many groceries in the house right now. Um, I've been gone this last weekend and tomorrow I have a shipment of Icon meals coming. So today is going to be kind of a random meal of eating. I have a few Icon meals left. But I'll show you guys what I'm consuming. My macros for the day are around 175 carbs, 45 fats, and like 130 protein. So let's get it. All right, so fasted cardio completed. I have my BCAs up in this jug. And then what I'm going to be doing for my first meal is finishing off my last two Icon meals. So I'm gonna eat this one right now, eggs and French toast. The macros on this are 280 calories, 20 protein, 26 carbs, and 10 fat. I am going to add some more carbs to this. Maybe add some of this blackberry jam onto the French toast because I'm hitting the gym after this meal. All right, so this is my final breakfast. I added a serving of that jam on top of the toast. This is what the Icon meal Looks like bacon, eggs, French toast, and then I added some of this salsa on top of the eggs because I was out of ketchup. But that is going to be my meal number one. And then I'm gonna hit the gym. I think that's all I'm gonna eat before the gym, but if I end up eating anything else before I go, I will let you guys know and I'll keep you guys updated. That's the game plan. I do have work later, so that's another thing I'm gonna have to do today. Oh. I'm going to add the syrup that goes on top of the French toast. This comes inside. All right, watching some YouTube. This is going to be one more snack. Some more carbs before I hit the gym. I'm going to snack on some cereal while I get ready for the gym. So this is a serving of pop cereal and macros for this right there. And I'll catch you guys whenever I'm ready for the gym. Jesus, jeez. Before I head out to the gym, I'm taking my multivitamins, uh, or all my vitamins pretty much. So this morning I'm gonna take my uh, multivitamin, fish oils, whoa, two fish oils. This is my evening Primrose oil. And that's it for now. Um, as you guys know, I have them in my uh, little container because it's easier to carry around. But as you guys know, I do work with First Form. So if you guys ever want any supplements or any information on any supplements, please feel free to reach out. I'm gonna have my email across the screen. Don't hesitate to send me an email. I will answer any questions that you guys may have, not even just about First Form products, but just about supplementation in general. Um, that's something that I studied for quite a while. So I have a little bit of knowledge whenever it comes to supplementation and you know what certain supplements do what with the body. So if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. Also, if you guys would like any First Form products, my link is on the screen. So go ahead and use my link and that will provide you guys with free shipping, which shipping is pretty expensive whenever it comes to supplementation and to like food products. Um, Icon meals, that does get a little bit pricey with shipment. I am currently in contact with Icon Meals, hoping to get a discount code for you guys here pretty soon. We're working out some details, so I will keep you guys updated with what's going on with that. Time to hit the gym. I'm hitting back today. I might deadlift again. Not sure yet, but I will uh, keep you guys posted with what my next meal is. Catch you guys later. What we are having is a serving of cream of wheat. That's in the microwave right now. I'm going to mix in some of my Formula One hydrolyzed protein. Hydrolyzed protein, you guys, is the protein that you want to use post-workout. Hydrolyzed protein from any brand, most supplement brands will have a form of hydrolyzed protein and casein protein. 
Hydrolyzed is what you want to use post-workout because it has the highest bioavailability and will digest in your body the quickest post-workout, recovering the muscles, getting all of that good shenanigans. There it is. Anyways, and uh, next I'm going to add in a serving of some frozen berries to the top of that. And then in the meantime, while this is cooking because I am impatient, I am having one of these epic bars. If you guys are low on macros, um, this is gonna explode. If you guys have lower macros on your diet, um, or you just want a good way to get protein in, these epic bars, they're like, basically like beef jerky, are an extremely, extremely good whole foods source of getting protein in um, with very good macros. So this, which is pretty decent size and it's pretty thick, is 130 calories, eight fat, zero carb, and 15 grams of protein. All right, so it's way later in the day and I'm going to show you guys my meals that I'm going to be bringing with me to work and I think I'm gonna eat one right now. So I haven't really had anything up to this point. It's around like 2.30 right now. Um, so it's been a while since I've ate, but I've honestly been really busy. I've been running errands, cleaning up the apartment. So I haven't been focusing on food. That's a really good diet tip. If you guys are cutting or lowering your guys' macros, keep yourself busy. Like, I can't explain how important that is. If you're constantly sitting around the house or sitting or being in the kitchen and being in your house where food is constantly on your mind, that is what is going to lead to overeating or to snacking or to binging. But hunger is 75 to 80% more mental than actually physically going through a bodily issue where you are facing heart, hunger or starvation. It, you have to go to quite extreme measures um, to starve yourself. So um, the feeling of hunger is more of just your body being bored um, rather than actually being hungry. So know the difference. I mean, obviously you can tell whenever you're hungry, it's been, you know, four or five hours since you've eaten or longer and you're, you're hungry, you can tell. But whenever you're just eating out of boredom, um, that's, that's, the, that's the difference. So I don't know, I hope that that helps. That's just kind of a tip that I have given or that I have, I have used myself that I'm giving you guys in, in hopes that it helps you guys. But I'm going to make some last meals and there's a couple of snacks that I'm gonna bring. Um, but something that I'm going to make right now that I've been really enjoying, I'm not big on vegetables. Um, they really hurt my stomach, to be honest. Um, I think I'm just very fiber sensitive and that's something that I've done through experiment and error, um, trial and error. I have, I've, I've really, really taken the time to learn my body and that's something that I also really stress is there's, it's so easy to get a coach and to have them tell you what to do every single week and not give you explanations as to why you're doing the things that you're doing. But if you're looking to make health and fitness a long-term lifestyle, then take the time to learn your body. I can't stress that enough. Take the time to research everything that you need to know about health, nutrition, healthy eating, healthy choices, macronutrients, vitamin profiles, mineral pro mineral profiles of food choices is all there for you online. It is so easy to access and we're given that ability to access things via the internet that it's so important to just do your research and invest in yourself. Like if you're taking time out of your day to invest in finding a coach and, and there's nothing about bad about having a coach. I have a coach myself, but I've also taken the time to do the research myself so that whenever we make changes to my diet or my training, I know exactly why we're doing it and how it is going to manipulate and change my body. So something that I am making right now that I have been making, 
Um, it's kind of like a cucumber salad. So I'm just going to chop up some of these cucumbers. I'm going to see if I still have any onions. Nice. I do. I'll add in some diced, pre-cut um, white onions. And then, as I said earlier, my Icon Meals um, are coming tomorrow. So I just picked up some of this garlic herb chicken breast. And it's pre-cooked. You just heat it up. And it is one piece or 85 grams is 1.5 grams of fat, 18 grams of protein, and then it is a little bit higher in sodium, um, but that will be fine for today. So I'm going to make one meal with that, and I'm going to top it off with a serving of this Boathouse Farms Chunky Blue Cheese Dressing. That's a really good, low-calorie but filling and satisfying option. I season it with salt and pepper and it's really, really good. And I usually use like 200 grams of cucumber. So it's a very volumized meal. Um, and then the meal that I'll be bringing with me to work, I'm gonna do a serving of this Uncle Ben's Ready Rice um, Spanish style with some of the chicken as well. And I will probably be bringing um, a crunch bar, power crunch bar. These are my favorite, favorite uh, protein bars on the planet. I love them. And these are higher fat, lower carb options if you guys are following um, a lower my, a lower carb diet. These are a great option. You can get these at GNC, Vitamin Shop, most grocery stores. So this is a good option. And that is pretty much it. I do, I think I have a little bit oh whenever i get back home well i'll show you this whenever i get back home i'll just wait um but that's gonna be it what i'm taking i'll show you guys the salad mixed up and the meals mixed up whenever i'm ready but that is pretty much the game plan so see you in a bit so that is the final meal all right so this is the meal with the rice and the chicken so the macros for that will be over here. Gonna bring this to work with me. And then the power crunch. And then right now on the way to work, I'm going to snack on. I keep snacks in my glove compartment. <laughs> um, these are also a really, really good protein um, bar, like little, little protein bar to keep with you. Uh, just to have as an option instead of eating something that you shouldn't eat. So this is a little pack and they're little squares, and for eight pieces. So if you're a snacker, you will like these because the serving size is eight pieces. For eight pieces, it's seven grams of car, sorry, seven grams of fat, 22 carb, 10 protein. So I am just going to do half a serving so that I can still fit some of my ice cream in tonight. <laughs> but just gonna eat some of these on the way to work, and then yeah, I'll catch you guys after work. It is the next morning about 6, 15 a.m. It's March 13th and I left my camera in my car so I did not show you guys my final meal of the night but I'll show you guys what I ended up eating. I finished off the macros with some of this enlightened. This one is mint chocolate chip. This one is bomb. I, if you guys have not tried enlightened, it is so good. So, let me open it back up. So, for serving size, which, have you guys ever tried Arctic Zero? 70 grams is, it's a similar serving size, but this is creamy, it's actual ice cream. There is lactose in it, so I am sensitive to lactose, but this does not hurt my stomach. There's 90 calories per serving, um, depending on what, uh, what flavor you get. So this is three grams of fat, 16 carbs, and seven grams of protein and there's five grams of fiber so nonetheless it's pretty good stuff I love it and it's a great way to just kind of ease that sweet tooth at the end of the night without shitting on your macros so that was my final meal and my camera died once again but it did give me time to get somewhat presentable so I think I'm going to wrap up the video right here since I've showed you guys my full day of eating Again, my macros for the day, uh, as of right now too, I do updates with my coach every Friday. <clears throat> so um, it currently is Monday right now. 
because my macros for this week are going to be the same as in my video or in this video. It is 175 carbs, uh, 130 protein, and 45 fats. That is the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed a full day of eating. I promise I will get more fun and upbeat content up to you guys, but every once in a while these full day meetings that are just pretty relaxed and chill, I like to share with you guys to keep things transparent and honest and open with what's going on in life. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys did, please throw it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I appreciate you guys so much and thank you for tuning in. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.